Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. In the last episode, we received a ton of different furniture items and decorations from Gunther at the museum, and today we need to finish off some of the things that we started in the previous day, like this quest for fishing that we have from Willy to catch two tuna in the ocean and go bring those to him. And you know, I don't think we've actually spent any good time fishing in the winter, have we? And I know there are a couple fish that we can only catch in the winter time, so today might be the day to do that. Um, we do need to make some more bait so that we don't run out because I notice that we only have six pieces of bait left so we will go do that but first let's see what our fortune is for today we have a new queen of sauce too so we'll look at that as well um let's see are we going to have another lucky day by any chance well yeah the spirits are in good humor today i think you'll have a little extra luck so hopefully that means that we'll be able to catch fish um a little bit easier maybe <laughs> that would be nice if that was the case but um yeah we'll go ahead and check out the queen of sauce too let's see greetings it is i the queen of sauce here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook this week's dish pumpkin pie oh my goodness guys my favorite type of pie pumpkin pie in my house it's a tradition to eat pumpkin pie during the feast of the winter star the season just isn't complete without that wonderful flavor you can only achieve from the finest farm fresh pumpkins a little nutmeg cinnamon and clove will sweep you off to a land of crimson and gold and i learned how to make pumpkin pie yes <laughs> that is amazing so i'm not sure if we can actually make that of course because um we probably need some different types of ingredients that we don't have access to but let's see, can I even find it? Um, we have some pale broth in here. Oh my goodness, there's all sorts of different things and they are all grayed out. So I'm guessing that we cannot make it right now. But at some point we are going to make that pumpkin pie because that sounds absolutely delightful. The other thing that we need to do today, of course, is go give Penny this emerald to see if she likes it for um, the Feast of the Winter Star. And oh my goodness, our first Iridium bar. Oh, that is very exciting. I don't think we can really do anything with just one little iridium bar, unfortunately, but we do have it now, so that is excellent. Um, and I have this iron in here because I was thinking about upgrading the axe. We could um, upgrade the axe to iron so that we could possibly take a look at some secret area in the forest that you guys have been telling me about. But we have this uh, letter to read as well, so let's see. Jess, flip this letter over for instructions on how to make a super healthy meal. You'll feel energized. See you from Emily. Okay, so she gave us a red plate to make too. I wonder what that is. That's interesting. And um, let's see, something from Demetrius too. Oh, we haven't spoken to Demetrius in so long. Dear Jess, I was conducting a field study the other day and I found this specimen. I hope you find it as interesting as I did. Let's see, what is that? Oh, it's a bream, okay. I feel like he may have sent us a bream before. That's interesting. Um, And we have another letter, whoa. Oh, this one's from Robin. It's another quest too. Jess, how are you doing? Hope the winter hasn't been too hard on you. Anyway, I'm writing to ask you you for some hard wood. I need about 10 pieces if you've got it. If not, no worries. Take care from Robin. Okay, well, actually, we might have 10 pieces of hardwood in here. We actually might. Um, yeah, we have 31 pieces, so we could go deliver that to her, too. Um, we'll give her 10 pieces of hardwood. I am just going to throw the bream straight in here to sell. I mean, <laughs> it's not that I don't appreciate your gift to Demetrius, but we do need the gold, so that will help us out in that respect anyway. And now we need to go say hi to Daisy, too. Hello, Daisy. You are adorable. We'll give you your water and um, go say hi to our chickens as well. And then we can start going off to the town. We'll see if we can find um, Penny to see if she likes this emerald, and we'll also drop off this iron and our axe at Clint's so that he can get started on that right away. Um, actually, this secret area in the forest supposedly has a lot of places where we can gather up hardwood, so that will be particularly good for us if we're going to give Robin nearly half of our hardwood that we have right now. Um, let's give our chickens their breakfast, though. I'm sure they will appreciate that. Um, and should we make some more of these um, fried eggs, I wonder, or should we sell off the eggs? I'm not sure. I noticed that a couple of them were actually um, Silver Star. Just one was Silver Star. So we'll sell the Silver Star one for just a little bit of extra gold. It's probably not going to be that much extra gold, but I guess any little bit is good right now, especially as we're going to be spending um, quite a bit of gold to just upgrade our axe. So we'll put that in there and then we will make the rest into fried eggs for our adventure today. If we're going to be doing a lot of fishing, then we might need some extra energy anyway. So we'll go ahead and make some fried eggs and um, I think that's good. Now we can head off into the town, I believe. I don't think I'm forgetting anything, right? Um, let's just make sure, yeah, all of our seeds have been watered. We planted those in the last episode, just as like a final little harvest of wild seeds for the winter time. 
Um, and I see a crocus up there. I see wiggly worms. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to leave the crocus there, but I do have to see what are in this uh, wiggly worms patch. Let's see, just one little piece of copper ore, really? That's it? All right, well, we'll put that in our chest once we go back there. But let's go ahead and go to the town and uh, see if we can find Penny down here. We'll see if she's in the library today. Um, It's a Sunday, so I'm not sure if she's going to be. But Clint, would you mind upgrading our axe, I wonder? So it requires five iron bars and 5,000 gold, which we do have. And um, we have all of this gold stuff, too, that we need to do at some point. I'm pretty sure we have enough gold bars, though the price is a bit high for my liking. But we do want to get the pickaxe upgrade as soon as possible as well um just so that we can hopefully get rid of that big meteorite that landed in um, the middle of our farm that's something that we definitely want to take care of soon but let's see if penny's in here um oh no she's not in here yet Oh my goodness, she might not be in here today at all, actually. Um, but let's see if we can find her in the town as we're just wandering around. We might be able to, and we can take a very quick trip up to Robin's as well to uh, give her this hardwood before we forget about that. Penny, there you are. Yes, you're sitting under your tree today. Here you go, Penny. Let's see if you like um, our emeralds. Oh, she does. She gave us that little heart. Thank you. I really love this. Okay, guys, we have finally found what gift we are going to go give to her for the Feast of the Winter Star. We are going to give her that emerald that we have sitting in our chest. I'm so happy that we found so many of those. That is excellent. That's going to be a huge help for us and hopefully she will really appreciate it on the Feast of the Winter Star. I think we only have a couple days left until it's time to go to that festival so I'm really excited to see what that's going to be about. And there's some more worms. Let's see what's down here. Um, a mixed seed. Oh my goodness. It is not a good day for wiggly worms apparently. But I will place that into our chest too. Those will at least help us in the springtime I guess. There's that. But um, we'll go up here, we'll say hi to Robin, we'll give her her hardwood and see what she gives us, I guess. I'm not sure what sort of reward we're going to get for this. Um, let's see, here is your hardwood, Robin. Oh, you brought it! I know I can always count on you, Jess. Mm-hmm, this wood is perfect. It's exactly what I need. Thanks. You are welcome, Robin. So let's see, we probably got a little reward from that. Yes, I'm 500 gold. Okay, so that helps us uh, bring back a little bit of what we lost. What does she have in her store, actually? Let's see, she has a shop here that has all sorts of, oh my goodness, different pieces of furniture. Look at this. It almost looks like a little mini Christmas tree. Oh, that is adorable. Oh my goodness, we might need to buy that actually to uh, put it in our house. We have a mahogany tea table, which is gorgeous, a green office stool, um, all sorts of TVs, whoa, huge TVs. A furniture catalog, oh my goodness, that is way out of our price range, but it provides unlimited access to almost every single furniture item from the convenience of your home. Wow, that is definitely a goal for us. That would be excellent to have. Um, but that is quite a ways off, I feel. 200,000 gold. We are not exactly anywhere near that. Um, for now, we could at least get this manicured pine. I mean, that is certainly in our price range. And actually, we use the same amount of gold that she gave us, so it's not really a loss for us. And it looks like a little Christmas tree, too. A little undecorated Christmas tree, anyway. So I think I will definitely enjoy putting that up in our house. Um, would it be easier to take a shortcut, I wonder? We could go around this way, at least. Um, I think it'll be a little bit harder to walk all the way up to the minecart, but if if we go this way, then it will be a little bit faster for us to get back to our farm and then put all of these things away. And then we can get to our fishing expedition because we do need to make sure that we can gather up some uh, tuna for Willy because I believe that quest ends today and it's already noon. It's already almost 1 p.m. Oh my gosh, the day is just flying by, guys. So let's put all of this stuff away in our chest. There we go, our copper ore, our mixed seeds, and our newly found clay as well. And then we'll pop this little tree in our house too. Oh my goodness, okay, so where should we put this? I think I'll just put it right here for now, and then when we come back, we can uh, we can mess with that a little bit more and figure out where we should put all of these things because we have so much here. Um, okay, so we need to go down to the ocean, I believe. And did I make um, bait? No, I didn't make bait. Oh my goodness, okay, so we need to make the bait first. We need to go in here and find our bug meat, and then uh, we can make a little bit of extra bait. Um, I think it's easy enough, it's just one piece of bug meat for five pieces of bait, so excellent for us. Um, that should be good. That is plenty. I can't imagine that we're going to be fishing up 75 pieces of uh, fish. So we'll put this on our fiberglass rod, and now we can finally walk over to the um, to the beach. And hopefully we can gather up some uh, tuna pretty quickly, because I would like to take a look at some of the other places we can fish. 
Um, if we hop in here and go to the town, hopefully that'll be a little bit faster than if we walked all the way through the main portion. But yeah, if we can come back here and maybe fish in the river or maybe even go to the forest, that might be a good idea. If we go over to the forest and see what we can find in uh, that part of the water, maybe we'll get some special fish that we can only catch in the winter time. Um, the squid were actually a special winter type of fish and oh my goodness, all of these worms. I'll come back for those once we catch our tunas. But um, the squid were a special type of winter fish that we could only catch at night. So there are some things that we need to keep an eye out for and it's not seaweed guys, it's definitely not seaweed. Though I believe we were actually getting low on some of the um, types of slime maybe? Is that what they were called? But this is a fish, that's a good sign. Let's see what type of fish this is going to be. Oh, you're just barely getting away from me. It's not going to be a perfect one, but um, there we go, not too bad. So what are you? Oh my goodness, those sea cucumbers again. <laughs> I was not expecting to see you. Okay, well the sea cucumbers, I remember we were catching a lot of those in the uh, fall time. And um, Linus also gave us a special type of bait on the day when we were catching a whole bunch of sea cucumbers. Um, oh man, I didn't get the uh, the little chest in there, but we managed to get a herring, so that's pretty good. And it was a perfect catch as well. So let's see, we'll go down to uh, this area and see if there's anything different over here. I see those little bubbles over there, though they don't seem to be helping us catch any tuna. Um, let's see, there's a seagull walking on top of the roof. Do you see that? That's actually distracting me. I need to watch this fish. But there's a seagull just walking across Willie's roof right now. Um, is that? No, it's a sardine. Oh, I thought it was a tuna, but it's not. Well, at least we're getting a lot of different types of fish. And that one's even a gold star one. Now, here's another one. Is this going to be a tuna for us? I'm pretty sure you can catch the tuna during the daytime, right? I'm pretty sure that's what I read. Um, there's another perfect catch. It's just another sardine. Oh no, that's already 3 p.m. too. So fishing takes a lot of time, but um, hopefully it's going to be worth it. Hopefully this will get us um, a little bit of extra gold too, because we do want to keep our funds high for the springtime. Broken glasses, that's not what I need. <laughs> Let's go over here and see if this works a little bit better. We threw our fishing line out way far, so hopefully that'll help us too. Um, let's see, come on little fish, come on and bite. Where are you? There you are. Okay, so this has to be a tuna, right? It's been so long, it has to be a tuna. It's just sitting at the bottom again. That's probably not a good sign, is it? Uh, let's see. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? It's a cold fish. It's a herring. Okay. <laughs> it's another gold star herring. Let's go way over here at the end of this little pier and see if we can find anything better over here. Um, Willie is going to be a little bit disappointed in us, I have a feeling, if we can't find him. Just two little tunas in this big ocean. He probably has no trouble catching these things. Um, let's see. Maybe this will be our lucky fish? Um, oh gosh, we have another chest to get to. Let's see. Okay, I managed to get that one. So at least we have that. And there's that seagull again. He has a little buddy up there too. Oh, he's distracting me though. I have to watch the fish. <laughs> oh, it's another sea cucumber. Oh my goodness, you guys. What? Another emerald? Oh my gosh, it is like Emerald City here for some reason. The winter time is apparently an excellent time to gather up emeralds for us. So there we go. That is like our fourth emerald over the past couple of days. Oh, Willie. Oh no, where are you going off to? We haven't caught your tunas yet. That's not good. We don't want you to leave. Um, well, let's see. Maybe this will be one of them. I mean, we have to catch two, too, so it's not even just one. Um, oh, it's a herring. Oh my goodness, you guys. I mean, they are in the ocean, right? Now I'm starting to doubt what I've read. <laughs> I'm starting to doubt my own notes. Um, let's see, maybe this one will be the one. We might have to give up on this. We might have to just go off and see what we can find in the forest. Um, yeah, it's just another herring, guys. I think I am done with ocean fishing because it's already 5.30 and uh, we haven't managed to find any tunas. So let's see, we have a dried starfish there. Okay, and another um, batch of mixed seeds too. I believe we may have given this uh, to Gunther. Yeah, it looks like we probably did. So Gunther doesn't need that. Um, we can sell that off, I suppose. And we have to go all the way back now. Um, let's see, there's Elliot. Let's see, is there anything we can give to Elliot? Um, I don't think so. We don't really have any good gifts for Elliot. And I'm so sorry, Willie. You are going to be so disappointed in us for not catching you any of the tuna fish that you wanted. Um, I guess we could go straight over to the forest, though. We might as well. 
we'll see what we can find in the water over there. Um, and then we'll just drop all of this stuff into the bin, I suppose. Um, some more worms over here. They definitely seem to spawn a little bit more often in the winter time, or maybe I'm just able to see them a little bit better because of um, all of the snow. They really contrast with the snow. Um, let's see, there's another group up here. Um, I just missed it, there we go. And what is that? Prehistoric scapula, I believe that says. Um, and we haven't donated that yet, so we'll have to do that in the next episode. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can find any sorts of extra special things over here. And oh my goodness, the traveling merchant is here today. Wait a second, we need to see what she has. Um, she has cave carrots and mead and honey, all of these different things. A cork bobber too, slightly increases the size of your fishing bar. Oh, we might have needed that today actually. Um, a tilapia and a puffer fish. That's interesting. So it looks like she was doing a little bit of fishing too. Certainly seems that way anyway. Um, what is this? A Joja Cola light? Where on earth did you pick that up from? I'm um, in a little coffee bean too. I think this is one of the new um, items from the new update, isn't it? One of the new crops that you can grow. But it doesn't really look like anything that I need to buy is uh, here right now. So we are going to pass on all of these items and we're just going to uh, go back to fishing like we were before. Let's see, can I put some lights out here? I always forget that I can actually place items outside of my own farm for some reason. But um, we have three spaces left in here, so we'll see what we can possibly fish up in this little lake. Hopefully it's not going to be like the pond on our farm and give us only trash because that is not going to be very helpful. I feel like we have fished here before and I feel like we haven't had the best of luck. But uh, let's see. Oh, that's a fish. Oh my goodness. It's a very wiry fish. Wait a second, little guy. Wait a second. No distractions here. There's no seagulls walking on top of roofs, so we don't have to worry about that. But oh my gosh, just calm down, little fish. Honestly. <laughs> He's gonna wear himself out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, you can't get away now. We were so close. He's way up at the top. This has to be a pretty good fish, right? Let's see, what is this? That's a pike. Okay, I don't think we've had a pike before. Do we need to uh, donate that anywhere? Let's see, the fish tank, a river fish. Um, no, we need a tiger trout and a catfish there. Would it be in the night fishing bundle by any chance? Um, no, a walleye and an eel. Um, the lake fish. We just need a sturgeon. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is actually anything that we need to donate. Um, oh, there's that tilapia too. Okay, so if we wanted to, we could buy it from the merchant, but I don't think we need to do that. We could just uh, find it ourselves. Yeah, we don't need to donate this, but I feel like that might be the first pike that we've ever caught before. So let's see if we can find anything else in here. That was pretty good. Um, we'll see if we can manage to fish up any other little fish. Okay, here's another one. Oh, is it wiry again? You seem like you might be another pike. Let's see, is he going to uh, zip right off as soon as we get to the top? Um, almost, but yeah, that was another pike. So they do act a little bit similar, it seems. Um, I want to go down to the little, like, river that's in this area, too, to see if we can find anything there. Um, let's see, I think it's around this way. It's a pretty big river, so there we go. We're going to run into it eventually. We'll go down here and we'll see if we can find anything special in this part of the water. Um, it's probably going to be the same as what we found in that little pond up there, but we might as well just give it a try. We'll give it a quick peek. Um, it's another fish too, so that's good. And you are very, very wiry. <laughs> are you another one of those pikes? Oh, let's see. We've almost got you. Don't you dare scoot away from me now. There we go. Yep, it's another pike. Okay, so they are very, very similar in um, their ways. But yeah, the forest actually has a pretty special secret area, or so I've been told, up here somewhere behind um, the wizard's hut. Let's see, if I can hold this torch, maybe we'll be able to uh, get around a little bit easier because of course I haven't cleared out any of these trees or all of these bits of wood just lying on the ground. But here is the secret little log that we can supposedly get rid of once we upgrade our um, axe. So I'm looking forward to that. Once Clint is done upgrading the axe, and I believe it's two days, we should be able to come back here and uh, see what is in that secret area of the forest. So that's going to be fun. Um, I believe actually Leah's birthday is coming up pretty soon too. That might be in just uh, two or three days as well. So that's something we're going to have to look out for, though honestly, we have some pretty good gifts for Leah. We've given her eggs and she seems to enjoy those. She likes some of the uh, foraged items that we find around, um, particularly
particularly in the springtime, I believe we were giving her foraged items. So I don't think we're going to have too hard of a time just trying to uh, find something to give her for her birthday. But let's go ahead and place our fish in here. We have <laughs> our sea cucumber, our herrings, our sardines, and all of our pikes too. Two gold star ones as well, so that's good to see. Um, we do need to donate our prehistoric scapula, so we'll do that in the next episode. But we have a couple of things that we can just throw in here. Um, we might as well keep the emerald too. I mean, we know that Penny likes these, so just in case that there's ever another situation where we need to give her a gift, we can just have it right in here. Um, the emeralds seem like they're probably pretty rare too, even though we keep finding so many of them. I'm assuming they're probably um, pretty rare to come by, so it might just be a good idea to keep it on hand. And we'll place our trash, of course, in our recycling machines. And I believe that's about it, guys. So we'll remember to do that in the next episode, but right now we can go back in here and um, redecorate, I guess. We have this almost Christmas tree with us. Almost. Um, it's an undecorated one, but it kind of looks like a Christmas tree, so I am very happy. Let's see if we rearrange these things just a little bit. Um, oh, can I not pick you up? Oh my gosh, I didn't know we could do that. We can click on this and it makes sounds. <laughs> Does that mean that you are stuck there? Uh, maybe I need to pick it up with like our pickaxe or something, but let's go ahead and play some. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought our bear was like snoozing for a moment, but it's actually Daisy behind the bear. Oh my goodness. Um, let's see if we can pick it up with this though. Let's see. There we go. So the singing stone. I didn't know that it could do that. That is really cool. We'll place you over here and let's pick up um, our bear too, our little bear friend. And our bear friend can sit right next to the bear, in fact, and uh, right around our tree. There we go. We still need to find some better way to uh, light up the place because the torches are a little bit strange. But um, we need to bring his friend the skeleton over here too because we don't want them to be apart. There we go. So it's almost like a little Christmas tree, a little festive Christmas tree for the Feast of the Winter Star. I'm happy with it anyway. <laughs> we need to find a better way to uh, rearrange all of these items. But for now, I am happy because it's getting late so we're running out of time here. We'll tuck Jess into bed and hopefully I can rearrange these things in the next episode. But thank you all so much for watching today and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!